Okay, YouTube, this is uh, BX Bomber 718. All right, this is part two. Um, I went ahead and just installed the um, MSI R5770 Hawk. It fits just about right. Now, just so you guys know, uh, let me give you an update on my build. I had the Antec 300, uh, but that case was horrible. I mean, I mean, it was all right, but, I mean, it was real loud, and it was kind of flaky. You know, it didn't really had good build design. So I wound up getting this um, Antec P183 case, and I'm very, very happy with it. Um, let me go ahead and lift it up for you guys. This is the top 120 millimeter fan on it. This is the front. As you can see here, this is so you can lock this eSATA to USB. Then you have um, mic and headphone jack. Open it up. You have the dust filters here. I have a fan sitting here from my previous build. Antec 120 millimeter. I got another fan here for my previous build. I got a new media card reader because the other one I had was kind of cheesy. Um, this one has a USB and it reads all types of formats, even micro SD, which was, I thought was pretty cool. All right, still got my LG 6X Blu ray burn up there. All right, turn back around. All right, now I've got a um. Something new in here. This is my Western Digital um, Carrier Black 500 gigabyte, um, 7200 RPM hard drive with 32 megabytes of cache and um, dual chips on there to handle the I.O. throughput. I got my, um, this is not new, but this is my uh, one terabyte Western Digital um, Carrier Black 32 megabyte cache, 7200 RPM hard drive. And back here, probably can't really see it right back here but back there's my old 740 um, gigabyte uh, Western Digital um, 60 megabyte cast 7200 RPM hard drive which is I want to say it's pretty old it's about two years old I had it for a while um, here I still got my 8 gigabytes of Patriot memory um, 800 megabyte 800 megahertz sorry uh, running at 44412 timings um, this is DDR2. So, got my ASUS Silent Night um, uh, heat sink fan with this, uh, three heat pipes on it. Um, it has a 92 millimeter fan inside. Underneath that is a Intel Core 2 Quad Q9550 2.83 gigahertz 12 megabyte cache um, uh, 1000, uh, 1066 megahertz. Um, chip in there i got the p right here the p5q deluxe asus motherboard um with the p45 chip shed on it i still have my physics car from agm this is asus branded i have my d-link right here the dw a542 draft end card here's the msi hawk sitting there looking real nice and it also has this right here for the crossfire bridge take that off um, underneath that, I have my um, my Creative Elite Pro X5 sound card, and underneath that, I moved my my um, MSI TV tuner. Um, it's a ATI 650 Theta Pro TV tuner. Um, still going pretty well in there. Down here, I still have my Antec Neo Power 650, 650 watt power supply, power and everything. Um, I also have an extra cable here. Um, this is an extra six pin cable that I got down here, and um, this is if I choose to run um, If I choose to run Crossfire which I may or may not I don't know this car might do me good enough um, So as you can see my monitor my Asus monitor here. It's a 1920 by 1080 Monitor that I got you know I had this for a while too, but it's HDMI so I got the graphics card to run it at native resolution because the 4670 was not really doing it at all. I had the game at 1366 by 768 or even 1600 by 1050 to get anything acceptable. But the 5770 
definitely is going to blow it out the water. But this card right here just looks, wow. It looks incredible. So I'm going to keep you guys informed. So um, just stay tuned, all right? All right, guys. I'm out.